his balls into the flywheel shooter. And the goal. Which fires balls at the top into the baskets. For each of these robots is to make shots into three different levels of baskets to score the winning points. Which spins? A robot can shoot balls into the hoops. It can go over bridges and balance with other teams and it can also go over the bump. Cimarron High School senior Hunter Wallace knows too well the work that goes into this project. Six weeks to build, but countless hours of preparation, fundraising, and selling the idea to sponsors. We stay here for thousands of hours per year and it's not just the six weeks of building. We're here for competitions as well as um, fundraising on off-season events. So they have to design and build this robot. So it's a full engineering project. Nonprofit president of First Nevada, Gene Hopper, knows the work and dedication each student has put into building this robot. 42 different teams are competing in this year's first robotics competition, 10 from Southern Nevada. She says not only is it a resume booster for the students, but teaches them to be stewards in the community, all in hopes that once they enter the workforce, their knowledge and skills get put right back into Southern Nevada. They're better public speakers. They're more involved in their community. They're twice as likely to volunteer into their local community. Getting the design down and everything that takes the longest, and then the last three weeks and here is just spent working out the kinks. Senior at Coronado High School, Travis Walker, says the hours and energy put into the project is all worth it in the end. Just to see, like, oh yeah, I built that, and I took pieces of metal, and now it's a robot that plays basketball. It's just, like, a really good feeling. Ashley Conroy, News 3.